Thank you so much for uh, joining me today. My name is John Caleb. I'm doing a tutorial about human resource and also workplace tips. Uh, I'm here to help you to become more productive in your workplace and also to be happy in your work that you're doing. Uh, today I'm going to talk about work etiquette. Uh, work etiquette is a standard uh, that controls social behavior in your uh, environment or wherever you're working in. Uh, this uh, behaviors, uh, this some of the aspects that involves in this is uh, your communication, uh, to, uh, technology use, and also at the same time body language. How you can coordinate all this in your work environment so that your work environment can be very conducive for you to work in any organization or in any environment that you will find yourself. So there are some of the tips or there are some of the things that you need to have or to, that you need to do uh, in order to have this etiquette. Number one thing that you have to do is you need to be respect, uh, respectful to your co-workers. Respect is paramount and it is a very important thing that you need to respect all your colleagues even though uh, sometimes some of them will not show you respect but it is very important that you need to uh, respect them. And also you need to understand and you need to acknowledge uh, the differences between people. You need to understand the religious view of the people and also the political opinion of people. This one will help you to respect others. This one will help you to respect others people opinion so that at least you create very conducive environment for work. So before you do anything you need to respect your colleagues. You need to respect other people that you're working with so that at least you can uh, the productivity or your, uh, you can increase uh, your production uh, in the company that you're working in. Number two, you need to stay accountable. Uh, workers should be held responsible, uh, responsible for their feelings and also their words and their behavior. Uh, this is especially when they have done mistake or when they made mistake. Uh, this is uh, you need to be very uh, accountable because the, uh, the personal uh, the personal accountability uh, is closely related uh, related to honesty and also is also closely related to integrity. So once you have done something wrong, try as much as possible to be accountable for your actions. Be accountable for your words. If you say something that is contrary to the rules and the policy of the organization that you're working in, try as much as possible to be accountable for your action and for your words and even for your feelings. Maybe you've gone, you've gone uh, extra mile. You need to be accountable for that. Once you do that, it will help you uh, to uh, be somebody respected because people will know that you are a respected person and also you are somebody that is accountable, somebody that uh, they can bet on. So try as much as possible to be accountable for your words. Another thing is you need to uh, know what to wear at work, know what to wear for work. When you're going to work, you need to know what to wear. Uh, in modern uh, workplace, appearance is closely related to uh, performance. So know that it is important for you how your dressing code is very important when you're going for the job or when you're going for your duties because your professional image uh, will sell in the company your professional image will help you to be credible will help you to uh, encourage uh, or to increase your uh, your confidence when you're meeting people when you're meeting clients of different kinds so having a dress code uh, demonstrate that employee is a uh, very serious with their work or they take their work seriously. So it, uh, it is very important for you to uh, know what to wear for work. Another thing that you need to do, you need to filter your speech. Try as much as possible to filter your speech. Uh, this is uh, one of the easiest uh, way to maintain friendship and friendly environment, our productive environment or in our workplace is by filtering your speech. Know what to say. Think twice before you speak, know what to say at what time. If you have done something wrong to somebody, try as much as possible to apologize to that person. And also if you have, uh, if you, uh, you, don't, uh, you don't know what to do, try to ask because if you do that it will help people to be attracted to you and they will know what to do or how they can help you. So also don't uh, gossip in the office because if you gossip, that one will bring stress and also will bring chaos in the, uh, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the workplace. So you need to filter your speech, you need to know how to talk to people, on how to engage with people. 
once you understand somebody's opinion, their political opinion, their religious opinion and all that, it will be very easy for you to know on how you can treat them or to know on how you can uh, be with them in the same environment or in the same office where you are working. And if, and one last thing about this, if it is possible and if it is necessary, try as much as possible to give uh, a feedback or, or, or so appreciation uh, by word of mouth try to show appreciation in wording. This one will also help you to know or to create a very good uh, etiquette or a very good workplace in where you're working. Number five thing, another tip that is going to help you, try to follow punctuality. You need to be punctual. Punctuality here means that whether you are going to work or whether you're going for the meeting, you need to reach there five or ten minutes before. This one will help you to uh, be, uh, to, to uh, people will know that you are a punctual person. So don't be late to work and also don't be late for the meetings in the office. Uh, this one will benefit. You will show, once you show up late, people will not take you serious. But being punctual will show that you are serious with your work and also uh, the attitude uh, will change about your work. So try as much as possible to do that. One last thing, and the last one but not the least, is you need to understand the teamwork. A proper business etiquette understand that people work in team. So it is very important to work in teams with others. As you work in teams with other people, this one will help them to become more productive. Try as much as you can to submit your part of the project on time. Because if you do this, it will lower the stress of other people or of the colleagues that you're doing work with. Because maybe the deadline is approaching and you have not done your work. Other colleagues are worried because they want to uh, file everything in one, uh, in, they want to put everything in one file so that they submit to the uh, client or they submit to the supervisor uh, or the management. But if you have not done your work or if you have not finished your work, uh, it means that things, the stress will come up. So to avoid such kind of stress, it is very important to uh, work as a team. Uh, try to work with other people uh, on what, on how to do things. This one will also help you to uh, create a good environment uh, in the workplace. So these are some of the few tips or some of the few uh, work